Hey everyone, I am Almar from AlmarsGuides.com and this video right here is going to be covering the gibbering gemstone for the Staff of Herding quest, or uh, Staff of Herding thingamabobber. Now what you want to do is you want to be selecting the Machines of War quest, the second part, to destroy the Ballista, uh, <clears throat> on whatever difficulty you want. I'm doing Hell because I don't have it unlocked on Inferno yet and even if I did that would be entirely way too difficult frustrating and time consuming so we're gonna do it with what I got on hell now what you want to do is you want to take the bridge of Corsic waypoint and once I finish loading there we go from here you will want to run northeast in the direction I am running now obviously uh, until you come to the first cavern you see which uh, <clears throat> blah, blah, sorry, uh, we're going to be looking for. I'm sorry, I'm lagging so much. It's uh, I don't know why I'm lagging so much right now, but yes, it. Oh, I know why I'm lagging so much. I think. I think YouTube is up. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Seems to have cleared. Uh, one of the most annoying things it seems about making videos for me is uh, I always wind up lagging at the start of a video or in a new area or something like that. It's quite frustrating, and I. Don't entirely know why. Uh, usually YouTube is up when I start lagging. For some reason, YouTube gives me the, the worst frame rate ever imaginable. Um, <clears throat> so what we're looking for is, once again, Caverns of Frost, which we will need to go down to level 2 of the Caverns of Frost. And there we are going to be looking for the named called Chiltara, which, uh, has a, which will, if you kill him, will drop the Gibbering Gemstone. This is one of the more annoying ones to get, however, because not only do you need the Caverns of Frost, uh, it's a random chance, as you can see, it's right over there. It's a random chance to get the Caverns of Frost, and then it's also a random chance to get Chiltar once you get the Caverns of Frost. So, it's a, like, double annoyance whammy. What, uh, before I go in, I'd like to, I'm taking a screenshot from my website, and also I'd like to add that, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, I had a brain. Oh yeah, the Caverns of Frost share a spawn point with uh, Icefall Caverns. So, if you see Icefall Caverns, you might just want to exit out and reset the game. Come back in and run it again. Or, I mean, if you're here for farming as well as uh, actually, you know, getting the item that you're after, then, you know, you can run through Icefall Caverns, grab the resplendent chest at the bottom, and then exit out and rinse and repeat. Now, this time I, I am indeed hoping I get Chiltara. Uh, <clears throat> I don't like making extremely long videos, just showing you monotonous doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. With uh, the other thingy, like Leoric Shinbone, wasn't that big of a deal since it is such a short uh, like farming run, I guess you could say, for it. <sighs> Sorry, I, I like had a little gap where I completely forgot anything to say. Um, usually during this time, what I do is I fill this space with, uh, saying different ways you can help me and pay back the favor of me helping you. Uh, like, like my videos, subscribe to me, like my website on Facebook, and watch my videos. Also post comments, doesn't really matter what they say, negative or positive. All comments do help as they make the video appear to be more popular than it actually is. That's why a lot of people just... Uh, get comments pretty much spammed on their videos. Um, <clears throat> that, and if you would really, really um, like to assist me, sharing any of my videos on YouTube that have advertisements in them on your Facebook helps substantially. Um, I'm, not, <clears throat> I'm not telling you to do anything more than share the video or share any video you want of mine. Anything helps, but that will help me even more. Now, uh, as you can see, this cavern is actually pretty straightforward, and on hell it is um, extremely, extremely easy. I think, the, yeah, these mobs only have like 19k HP, which is like how much a single attack for me hits for. Um, so, it's, once again, extremely straightforward. Kill your way through, look for a named on level 2 called Chiltara, take him out, loot the Gibbering Gemstone, and that's the last step uh, for at least this part now if you're if you are new or rather if you haven't beaten the game on an, uh, any difficulty yet 
and you don't know what the staff of herding is, the boss before uh, Diablo, I think his name is Iskatu, um, he drops the plans for it, and then from there, uh, the blacksmith will make it for you. I don't think it requires a specific artisan level in order to make the first one at least, but I know it does for the fo for the additional ones. Now here we go, here's Caverns of Frost level 2, and I need one brief second because I need to uh, do, I need to get this Caverns of Frost picture cut out and saved in my thingy, so I apologize for just sitting here. Okay. Now we, there we go. Alright, I apologize for that, I just needed to get that out of my uh, print screen thingy, because if I see Chiltar, I gotta grab a screenshot of him or her, whatever it is, for my website. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, if you'd like to see the text version of this guide, is with all the pretty pictures and all that fun stuff, and also easy links to all the other farming videos, follow the link in the description, it'll take you right to my website. And this is, no that isn't Chiltar, that is Legion the Hellion. I don't know if that means Chiltar won't be here or what. Uh, this I this is one of the three items I have not yet uh, farmed up yet for the Staff of Erding. I have the Black Mushroom, I have Leork Shinbone, and uh, I just haven't bought uh, the Wirt's Bell yet from Chaldeum during Act 2 from the little peddler merchant guy. Uh, actually, it's a girl. But <clears throat> here's the Resplendent Chest. Grab all this fat loot. Now, um, I don't know what Chiltar even looks like, to be honest. I think it's like this little dragon thing. I think it's like those uh, the things that fly around on the outside that run around real fast, and they're extremely annoying to kill. I'm pretty sure that's what Chiltar is. We'll find out sooner or later. If she's not in this video, then what I'm going to do is uh, stop filming, and then I'll start filming when I get to uh, level 2 of the Caverns of Frost. So it doesn't appear to be as monotonous as uh like you know you don't have to see me run through level one and then run through level two and then i also don't have to think of something to fill time with just randomly talking which is always nice is that no that's not chiltara Grr. i get excited every single time i see something that glows and i don't think he's down here because i think that's the exit stone over there it was all glowy and specially over there so i'm pretty sure that's the exit stone <sighs> All right, well, first run, I'll be able to tell you how long this took in a second once I can tab out to Audacity to see uh, how long I've been talking for, which is, yeah, it's the exit stone. I've been talking for eight minutes about, so it's about eight minutes a run, and that's not including the, uh, or that is including, rather, the time that I spent all tab to cut out the picture. So uh, eight minutes a run should be a few runs. I'll start filming again uh, momentarily once I get to whatever again. So, I guess uh, I don't know. I'm not good with goodbye, so see you soon. Alright, this is the start of like part two the second time I found Caverns of Frost for this gibbering gemstone. Now, uh, it took me forever to get this cave to spawn again. I got Icefall Caverns once and then I got absolutely nothing uh, for like eight runs in a row. Or actually more than that, for like literally running this stuff for 20 minutes straight. So, uh, if I don't get Chiltar this time, which, <laughs> there he is. Uh, well, there's Chiltar, so I guess I don't have to explain what happens if I don't get him. Alright, killed him, and there's the Gibbering Gemstone, as you can see. Pick up everything, grab this, and that's all there is to the Gibbering Gemstone. Uh, well, aren't you guys just so lucky that you didn't have to deal with the <laughs> 20 minutes of monotonously grinding trying to look for this friggin' cavern? You just... Uh, never mind. I don't feel like talking anymore about this place. It became extremely frustrating. Um, Alright, that's all there is to the Gibbering Gemstone. If you like this video, be sure to uh, like it. You can post any comments you want. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, like my website on Facebook. Pretty much anything you want to do to help me out. I love you forever. Moving on to the last part of this, which is the Liquid Rainbow. I think that's the name of it. But stay tuned and keep your eyes on that.